Welcome back. In this video, I want to go over the uh, couple ways to insert images into your Google Slides um, for um, stills. Okay, so this first slide, um, I have a screen grab of a website for the Steinbeck Center. And um, I'm going to delete it just so you can see how that I did it. I'm going to rebuild it. Okay, so first I'm gonna to go to make the screen grab. Let's assume that I don't have the screen grab yet. I'm gonna type in the website. Um, if you don't know how to make a screen grab, you just make the screen as big as you can, and then you're going to hit the um, Windows symbol at the bottom of your keyboard and print screen, and that's usually in the top right. On my laptop, that's how it is. And it will grab everything on the screen. Now I'm going to go back and it's a good practice to organize your materials but I know that that screen grab is on my computer in screen grab so I'm going to go here and I'm going to go insert image and these are all my options and I know I haven't categorized it yet so I know it's in my computer and pictures screenshots and it should be right about where 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 screenshots these are in order okay so screenshot 128 open it's too big so i need to crop it so i'm going to go to my crop tool and these little black bars appear you grab these black bars those are like, that's the scissor line, like where it's going to cut it. And position them. Oops, control Z to undo what I just did. And um, I'm not even recording my screen time on there. So let's just say we even crop that out there. A little black bar. All right, hit return, enter. Got a nice image there. It's still a little too big. So I'm going to grab the corner at the diagonal so that it doesn't um, distort it. If I were to grab here, oops, if I were to grab here, control Z, it will stretch it. See like that and the, the proportions go out of whack. It's too tall versus width. So control Z. Um, so but when I grab by the corner, any corner, it will resize it without distorting the image proportions okay so there you go that's that's that so that's inserting a screen grab now next I'm going to this is the virtual tour let me show you here um, this is the virtual tour of the uh, Steinbeck Center um, I have a link if I click here um, we go to the virtual tour and it's one of these 360 deals where you can go into the space and experience it um, either with VR headset or just this case is just for the um, online clicking around in 360 degrees so you could actually go into the museum it's pretty cool um, I created this about a year ago now I'm gonna go back here and this is an image representing that 360 tour because you can't easily embed 360 photos right now so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to insert an image I know that the image is in my photos my Google photos so I'm going to come over here and see oops I'll do that again insert photos okay so it pops up over here and I typed in Salinas because Google Photos is smart and it rec and it has the uh, data for your images, Salinas, which is where the museum is located. And these are all pictures in my library. So here's Mr. Steinbeck. Click that. Pull this up so you can see what I'm doing. Click insert. Hey, there I am. Okay, so that's the Steinbeck Center, um, the main lobby area, the entrance. And now I've got my photo there, and once again, it's a little big, so I'm going to shrink it down. And there you go. 
So that's inserting a photo from Google Photos. Last one I want to show you is this image. Um, I've got an image of the books. Um, I'm going to delete that. Um, if we were to go to insert image, I can do two ways. I can go from, let's try from the web. So I could search this time back books. Um, and then you could insert the books that way. Um, let's just click here, insert like that. Or I'm going to control Z and do that. I know that I have a nice screen grab that I saved earlier to my Google Drive. I organized it. So I'm going to go insert and I'm going to go image and I'm going to go for my drive. Now, it automatically pulls up my drive. Look at that. It went to my folder of where I have these organized on my Google Drive. And I'm going to click this one here, which is off of the Steinbeck website. Um, I'm going to crop it. Um, and a little bit, just a little bit more. Okay, so move that there. And so then you can see basically that's it. You can insert, um, you can insert images from, oh, one last thing I'll just cover briefly. Um, let's say you wanted to take a picture with your phone and then insert it as a slide. Like let's say you did handwriting on, uh, um, a chalk on, on a, um, a dry erase board and you wanted to illustrate let's say you're a math teacher and you're putting in your problems here um, I would take the image with my phone email it or upload it to my Google Drive and then from my Google Drive I would go here and insert it that way or from your photos if you have it sunk that way um, or if you really wanted to take a picture with your webcam, you could do it that way. So those are the ways to insert photos or images into your uh, Google Slides. Thanks. Uh, join me next time.